It's a cold night in the Netherlands. Inside a highly secured laboratory, a massive machine stands ready to change the world's technology race. This isn't just any machine. It's ASML's brand new high NA EUV system, a giant $400 million tool so large it has to be shipped in pieces and reassembled. But despite its size, what it does is on a tiny, almost invisible scale. It's capable of printing the world's smallest and most complex microchip patterns. And right now, as its final parts are locked into place, governments and corporations around the world are holding their breath. Because this machine isn't just about technology, it's about power. And whoever controls it, controls the future of chips, the heart of modern life. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button. It helps us beat the YouTube algorithm. ASML's high NA EUV machine is a major leap forward in making microchips. It uses a special kind of light, extreme ultraviolet, EUV light, to etch patterns on silicon wafers, which are the building blocks of computer chips. But unlike older machines, this one uses a wider lens that can create much finer patterns in fewer steps. That means more powerful chips made faster and cheaper. How much better? It can fit almost three times as many tiny transistors onto a single chip compared to current top machines. One research center in Belgium has already used a test version to draw lines just 10 nanometers apart. That's about 10,000 times thinner than a human hair. High NA EUV is the next big step in making faster memory chips, said Luke van den Hove, CEO of IMEC, a leading microchip research firm. This technology means everything from phones to computers, and even AI can get faster and more powerful. The way this machine works is mind-blowing. It creates bursts of light by firing lasers at tiny droplets of molten tin, heating them up hotter than the sun. This produces the special EUV light needed to draw circuits. But because this light can't travel through air, the whole process happens inside a vacuum, with some of the world's most precisely polished mirrors reflecting the light onto the wafer. These mirrors have to be so perfect that they're accurate to a few atoms. The entire setup is a mix of extreme heat and delicate precision. And when it works, it can create billions of tiny transistors on a wafer in just a few minutes. This machine doesn't just make chips, it transforms how chips are made. Before we continue, make sure to hit the subscribe button to show you support. In Oregon, at Intel's Chip Factory, the new machine is already making waves. They've run tens of thousands of wafers through it, and it's proven to be about twice as reliable as older machines. Intel's Steve Carson said, we're getting consistent results, and it's a huge improvement. What used to take many complex steps can now be done in just one. This cuts costs, reduces errors, and speeds up production. For Intel, which had fallen behind rivals like TSMC, this machine offers a real chance to catch up and maybe even take the lead in advanced chip production. The company is using it to perfect its new 1.8 nanometer chip designs, chips that will power everything from supercomputers to smartphones. While US companies like Intel are getting ready to lead the future of chip making with this tool, there's one big player missing from the game, China. For years, China has tried to buy ASML's advanced machines, but was blocked by US pressure on the Dutch government. The U.S. sees advanced chips as a critical technology, one they don't want falling into the hands of a rival. So when China's top chip maker, SMIC, tried to buy these machines in 2019, the deal was canceled. Even now, Chinese companies are racing to buy older machines and stockpile parts because they know they might be cut off completely. The Dutch trade minister said, I'm making this decision for our safety when expanding export restrictions. The Dutch government has decided to place restrictions on the export of technology to manufacture microchips. This comes less than two months. After this decision shows just how seriously the West takes the idea of keeping China out of the high-end chip race. But China isn't backing down. When the Netherlands canceled its export licenses for several machines going to China, Beijing accused them of bullying and demanded they respect global trade rules. Meanwhile, Chinese companies like Huawei and SMIC have been working overtime to make their own advanced chips without ASML's best machines. In 2023, Huawei shocked the world by releasing a smartphone with a 7 nanometer chip made entirely in China, using older equipment and clever engineering tricks. It was a breakthrough, but it came at a cost. Many of the chips were defective, and the production wasn't nearly as efficient as what companies like Intel or TSMC can do with newer technology. Still, it was a signal to the US and its allies that China isn't giving up. For American tech giants like Intel and NVIDIA, ASML's high NA EUV machine is a golden opportunity. Intel is betting big on this tool to reclaim its leadership in chip manufacturing, 
while NVIDIA is using it to keep making the powerful AI chips that are driving the next wave of technology. The US has already blocked exports of NVIDIA's top AI chips to China, trying to keep the most advanced technology out of Beijing's hands. This creates a divide. US and, and allied companies racing ahead with high NAEUV technology and China scrambling to catch up with older tools and homegrown solutions. Huawei was positioning itself not just as a consumer of chips, but as a player across the semiconductor supply chain. It poured money into Chinese semiconductor equipment firms and partnered with local EDA software developers to replace American chip design. Step by step, Huawei began knitting together a homegrown ecosystem from software to silicon. Huawei, once a global smartphone titan, had been crippled by Trump's export bans cut off from advanced chips and Google software. Its flagship phones lost their brains overnight when Taiwan's TSMC could no longer manufacture Huawei's Kirin chips under US sanctions. But Huawei did not give up. Instead, it reinvented itself as the vanguard of China's tech self-reliance. China weaponized its control of critical minerals. It announced strict export curbs on materials like gallium and germanium, essential for semiconductor production, citing its own national security rationale. Overnight, Western firms scrambled as prices for these obscure but vital elements spiked. By year's end, Beijing escalated further, banning exports of certain rare earth magnet technologies needed for high-end manufacturing. These moves were carefully aimed at choke points where the US and its allies relied on Chinese supply. Factories in the West fell quiet as they sought new suppliers. In Washington, Officials realized China was leveraging its resource dominance to inflict pain in response to chip sanctions. The tit-for-tat was now in full swing. As the United States and China traded blows, a silicon curtain descended across the technology world. What began as a Trump-led effort to contain China's rise, blocking a single Dutch machine, has evolved into a full-spectrum tech conflict. Washington marshaled its allies to deny China the tools to make cutting-edge chips aiming to maintain its lead in this critical sector. Beijing, in turn, launched an all-out campaign to innovate internally and eliminate its dependence on foreign tech. Each side is betting its future on silicon supremacy. In this high-stakes tech showdown, ASML's new machine is more than just a piece of equipment. It's a symbol of power. It's changing the global chip industry and shaping the US-China rivalry. Each new wafer that rolls off its platform is a step into the future. The question is, who will control that future? Right now, the US and its allies have the edge. But China is determined to find a way around the blockade, and the race is far from over.